let us kneel and pray the Horatio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Virgin of Antipolo, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon. Our Mass celebrant is Reverend Father Orly Jose Santos. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me, only Father, this thy child returns to me. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them. Never will I sin. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is Holy Monday. We continue to spend this day in preparation for the upcoming Paschal Triduum, the highest point of our Catholic faith, the celebration of the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of our Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause for a moment, acknowledge our sins before God, and ask for His forgiveness. Amen. 
You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to cause sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastland will wait for his teaching. Thus, says God the Lord who created the heavens and stretched them out who spreads out the earth with its crops who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it I the Lord have called you for the victory of justice I have grasped you by the hand I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeons those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. The war waged upon me, even then, will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I should see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, King of endless glory, Savior of the world, Savior of the world. Pray 
Christ was obedient unto death, even death on the wood of the cross. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, King of endless glory, Savior of the world, Savior of the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served. While Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him, Mary took a litter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of Him. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Magandang tanghali din po. Father. Maligayang pagdating po sa dambana ng ina ng kapayapaan at mabuting paglalakbay. Salamat po sa pagsisimba ngayong Lunes Santo, Holy Monday. Kahapon ay linggo ng palaspas, isang mahaba at makabuluhang pagdiriwang ng simbahan. Kaya naman pagkatapos ng mahaba at makabuluhang pagdiriwang ng linggo ng palaspas, Lunes Santo na. Holy Monday, Holy Tuesday, and Holy Wednesday. Itong tatlong araw na to, parang hindi natin minsan ramdam. Dahil pakiramdam natin, paparating na yung Holy or Monday Thursday, Good Friday, Black Saturday, and of course, Easter Sunday. Pero itong tatlong araw na ito, Holy Monday until Holy Wednesday, these days are days of rest. Not just ordinary rest, but days of rest in the passion of the Lord. Pahinga sa pagpapakasakit ng Panginoon. It is an irony because the church invites us that the passion of Jesus is our rest. Pahinga. Pahinga natin yung pagpapakasakit ng Panginoon. And these days are days, Monday to Wednesday, a days of preparation and rest for the coming Pascal Triduum, ang dakilang triduo ng ating pananampalataya. And so, an, our gospel for today 
is actually speaking of rest. Pahinga. We know, and kung nakinig po kayo sa ating Ebanghelyo, Jesus was in Bethany. Kasama si Lazaro na kanyang binuhay. Andun din si Marta na laging nagsisilbi at si Maria na kapatid ni Marta. At nandun din ang kanyang mga alagad. And during the rest of Jesus in their midst, naglaba si Maria ng mamahaling pabango. At siyempre, binuhos niya ito sa paanan ng Panginoon. Si Judas, tinignan, sinabi, O teka, teka, bakit kayo nag-aaksaya ng mamahaling pabango? Bakit niyo sinasayang? Pwede naman nating ibenta yan at ibigay sa mahihirap yung pera na makukuha natin. Judas, very practical. Always very wise. Tama nga naman. Bakit hindi nalang ibenta? Mas mapapakinabangan ng mga mahihirap. But you know, my dear sisters and brothers, the real fault of Judas is not because he wants to steal from the treasury. The real fault of Judas was he did not know the right moment when to love. Hindi niya alam yung tamang panahon sa pagmamahal. He does not know the right moment when to let go. Hindi niya lubos mawari kung kailan yung tamang panahon para bumitaw. Para bumitaw. Kaya naman si Jesus, sinabihan siya, Judas, hayaan mo na si Maria. Let her be. Dahil yung mahirap, lagi niyong kasama yan. Pero ako, malapit na akong mawalay sa inyo. Bumitaw ka muna, Judas, ngayon lang. Ngayon na yung tamang panahon para bumitaw. Bitawan mo yung mga bagay na nagpipigil sa'yo, mahalin ako. Now is the right moment, my dear sisters and brothers. Holy Monday. Sa panahon ng Kwaresma, 40 days of preparation, kung hindi ka pa din nakabitaw, dun sa bagay na pumipigil sa yung magmahal, ngayon na, the Lord is telling you, now is the right moment to let go of that favorite sin. Bitawan mo na yung bagay na makakasakit sa asawa mo o sa anak mo o sa mga magulang mo. Bitawan mo na yung pilit mong kinakapit-kapitan. Let go of that because now is the right moment to let go of that perfume. Yung mamahaling pabango, wag mo nang hawakan. Bitawan mo na sa paanan ng Panginoon. And it's interesting to see what happened nung binitawan ni Maria yung mabangong, yung pabango, yung mamahaling pabango sa paanan ni Jesus. The gospel took note of that. Ang nangyari, fragrance filled the whole room. Sinasabi sa atin mga kapatid, the moment we let go of sin, it will be full of fragrance. Papasok yung pabango, yung halimuyak ng biyaya ng Diyos sa buhay natin. If we only let go of that sin, 
doon papasok yung pabango, yung halimuyak ng biyaya ng Diyos. And so for this Holy Monday, we reflect on that. Now is the right moment. Ngayon na yung tamang panahon para bumitaw sa kasalanan. Para bitawan mo yung kapit-kapit mong kasalanan sa Panginoon. Because we can only rest in these three days kapag nabitawan na natin sa paana ng Panginoon yung ating kahinaan, yung ating kasalanan. And after letting them go at the foot of Jesus, let us experience, let us smell the fragrance of reconciliation. Let us stand. Jesus' gentle manner invites us to turn humbly to Him for forgiveness. Assured of His compassion, let us bring our petitions before Him. Merciful Savior, bless us. Merciful Savior, bless us. That those who are suffering and experiencing difficulties in life may, be, may hear their trials or may bear their trials with patience. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Savior, bless us. That prisoners may have the consolation of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful, Merciful Savior, Savior, bless, bless us. us. That we may come to the aid of the destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful, Merciful Savior, Savior, bless us. us. That the sick may draw courage and strength from the cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Merci Savior, Savior, bless us. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful, Merciful Savior, Savior, bless, bless us. us. In silence, we bring to the Lord our personal intentions. Father, you sent your Son to us on a mission of mercy. Grant that we may always be comforted by his gentleness and strengthened by his presence in our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis our Pope and Francisco our Bishop with Noli his auxiliary. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. With humble hearts, let us call to the Father in the words of Christ. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to partake in His Supper. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. The Body of Christ. Amen.
Pope Francis prayer and blessing for spiritual communion. At thy feet, O my Jesus, I prostrate myself and offer thee repentance of my contrite heart, which is humble in its nothingness and in thy holy presence. I adore thee in thy sacrament of love. I decide to receive thee into the poor dwelling that my heart offers thee. While waiting for the happiness of the sacramental communion, I wish to possess thee in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, since I for my part am coming to thee. May thy love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in thee. I hope in thee. I love thee. Amen. my life and my salvation. I know that there is nothing I shall fear. He is my fortress, He is my shield, of whom shall I be afraid? One thing as of you, my Lord, I keep on longing to live in you, to savor your sweetness, O oh Lord, all the days of my life, the Lord is my life and salvation. I know that there is nothing I shall fear. He is my fortress, He is my shield, of whom shall I be Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. For our schedules this coming Paschal Triduum, it is already posted in our Facebook page, Birhen ng Antipolo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down and pray for God's blessings. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go forth and follow Jesus. Thanks be to God. to